Hello, grade 12. How was your new year? Happy new year, everyone. So this will be our second semester for STEM 12. Okay, so our concentration is about physics 2. Now, our first one subject here, okay, I will share first my screen. Okay, this one. Okay. So we will talk about the methods of electrostatic charging. Okay, so from the word itself, electro, okay, electro means electricity. Okay, so we will concentrate on electricity for this lesson. Okay, so these are the following objectives for today's lesson. Identify the two types of charges, positive and negative. Okay. Predict charge distributions and the resulting attraction of or repulsion in a system of charge, so later semiconductors. Explain how charging by rubbing and charging by induction takes place. State the law of conservation of charge. Okay, so we have four objectives for this lesson. Okay, so if you have questions, I am free tomorrow, so you can uh, chat me. Okay, let's start the class. Of course, let's let us start the class with some questions. Okay, so we have here spark. Have we ever um, experienced a spark? Ending spark sa crush nyo or spark sa inyong mga loved ones. Okay. So you say spark. Have you ever got electrostatical static, statically shocked? Ibang hirapin kasi ng word na yun. Electrostatically shocked when you touch a cold metal bar in a mall. Okay. So have you experienced spark? Mm -hmm. Next one. Or witness a girl or any person holding a Van de Graaff generator while the strands of her hair repel one another. Okay? So, nakita na doon ba kayo na uh, um, isang tao na kapag ginawa ka yung Van de Graaff na experiment na yan is your hair will be um, tatak sa ganyan and then magre-repel or magiwahiwalay. Okay? So, those are the main two uh, questions or applications, okay, na magagamit natin uh, after we did this uh, lesson. Last one, have you ever wondered what causes lightning? Oh, man. Pag umuulan ba, automatic pa na magda-lightning? Or pag hindi ba umuulan, magda-lightning? So what are the causes of lightning? Okay, so we will also find out those later. Okay, so the electrical shock, hair strands repelling one another in the Van de Graaff generator, and the production of lightning results from the movement of electrical charges, okay? Considered on this one, we have electrical charges. Mm -hmm. So, in this lesson, it discusses about the nature of electric charge and how they are transferred from one to another. Okay, so we will concentrate about electric charge, what are those, and then how they can transfer to one thing to another thing. So, that will be our concentration to this lesson. So, paano nga ba nangyayari yung Magra-repel yung hair mo if you uh, touch the Van de Graaff. Paano pa nagkakaroon ng lightning? Paano pa nagkakaroon ng, shot, ng spark? Okay. Yeah. So this will be our main question. How are electrical charges transferred from one material to another? Okay. So paano nga ba yung mga electrical charges na yan? Mas transferred from one material or for, from one thing to another. Okay, first we must know 
what electrostatics is. Okay, so this one is also called as the static electricity. I know you already heard about this static electricity, but what is really an static electricity? From the word static, okay, it means rest. Arabic mo rest na Arabic mga synonyms na rest. Steady. Ha? Hindi nagbabago, hindi kumagalaw. Those are static or rest. Okay? So when we say static electricity, this is about electricity at rest. So paano nga ba ma-achieve yung static electricity na yan? Okay? So it produced when there is an imbalance of electrical charges. Imbalance. Kasi mo hindi siya balance. Kapag sa um, dalawang bagay, okay, if they are uh, pinagsama, pag ang kanil ng electrical charges ay imbalance, that means merong makakaroon tayo ng static electricity. Okay? You can understand this more kapag nasa bandang uh, palalim ng palalim nyo atin. Palalim na ng palalim nyo ating discussion. Okay? So let us first define electricity. Electricity comes from the Greek word electron, which means amber. What is that amber or amber? Amber na yan. Alam mo yung katas or yeah, not katas. It's dagda. Okay? Dagda ng puno. Right? Alam mo yung dagda ng puno, right? Kulay white. Kapag yun is uh, pinabayaan nyo lang siya doon sa pinabayaan nyo lang siya doon sa tree. Okay? Hindi ba mag-yellow siya? Ano nga? Okay, so that is what we call amber. Kapag tinigas lalo yan, is parang para na siyang isang stone. Okay? So that, that is what we call amber. So doon kinuha yung pangalan na electricity. Why? It's because amber is able to produce static electricity when rubbed with a cloth. Kapag nirub mo yan, okay, sa isang cloth, magkakaroon siya ng static electricity. Kaya dyan kinuha yung pangalan no electricity. Okay, sa amber. So, wala well, parang lion naman yung amber to city. Okay. Again, for this uh, slide, we need to summarize first. Static electricity means electricity at rest. To achieve that one, there must be an imbalance of electric charges. Okay? Electricity comes from the Greek word electron, which means amber. Amber is yung dagta. Okay? And this one, if you run to a cloth, it will produce static electricity. Okay, that's for slide one. So the following uh, scientists, ito yung mga nag-describe or nag um, experiment about electric charges, okay, just like this one. Benjamin Franklin carried out famous experiments involving flying kites during thunderstorms. Okay, so ginamit niya yung kite para pag-aralan kung paano siya nakaka-attract nung thunderstorms or paano kakaroon ng lightning or thunderstorms. Okay. So he classified charges as either positive or negative. So hindi pa siya sure doon. So ang theory lang niya is pero dalawang charges. We have positive and negative. Okay. Let's see the other scientists. We have JJ Thompson. Okay. This one is nasa right side natin. This one is JJ Thompson discovered negatively charged particles known, known as electrons. Ayan. So si J.J. Thompson and si Ernest Rutherford sila na yung nagpangalan ng two charges na na-discover ni Benjamin. Okay? So kay J.J. Thompson, he discovered negatively charged particles. So negative. Kapag negatively charged, that is what we call electrons. Okay? 
And si Ernest Rutherford discovered naman yung positively charged particles. Okay? So, positively charged particles known as protons. Ang nare-recall na yung mga pag-aralan nyo sa chemistry, ha? So, we have negative electrons, positive protons. Okay? Negative electrons, positive protons. And for its unit, yung ating kanyang standard unit, charges are measured in columns. Okay? So, na, na measure siya using the unit columns. And this one, I still, this is my first assignment, so I will uh, give you the meaning of columns sa ating next na lesson. Okay? Again, for this slide, we have the second and the third one. And explain, okay, kung sino yung mga um, scientists na nakadiscover ng electric charge. The first one is Benjamin Franklin. And he noticed that there are two classifications of charges. We have the positive and negative, okay? Using um, flying a kite during thunderstorms, Jeremy Bangyo, okay? And then J.J. Thompson and Ernest Rutherford named and discovered the charges, okay? So it's kind J.J. Thompson, the negatively charged particles known as Electrons. So, pinangalan na yung negatively charged as electrons. And Ernest Rutherford, for positively charged, he named it protons. Negative electrons, positive protons. Okay. So, this are how charges interact. Okay, paano nga ba sa'yo nag-interact? Okay. So, Unlike charges attract. Unlike charges attract. So, pag sabi unlike, yung isa positive, yung isa negative. Okay, that's unlike. Charges attract. So, they can meet. But the pwede silang magdikit. Pwede silang magsama. Attract. Okay? Like charges, if they are both positive or both negative, hindi sila mag attract That is, repel. Okay? Repel. Positive-positive. Hindi sila pwede um, mag-meet. Okay? Para kayo yung crush mo. Tanan. <laughs> Choke lang. Okay? So, hindi kayo pwede mag-meet. Okay? Positive-positive. Hindi pwede mag-meet. Negative-negative. Hindi pwede mag-meet. Okay? Negative-positive. Pwede mag me. Is that clear? Why can there still be an attractive force between a neutral object and a charged object? When we say neutral, how do we neutral? Hmm? Neutral, that, neutral that means balance. Okay? For example, this um, part is balance. At meron pa tayong mga ibang charge object here na nasa labas. Okay? Bakit daw, still, itong neutral na object na is it can attract other charges. Okay? Or specifically, a charge object. So, bakit daw? It's because of, okay, consider a neutral sphere containing the same Positive and negative charges, so balance yung electrons and protons, that is neutral. Okay. Charge separation means that attraction occurs. For example, this is okay, uh, a charge particle, electrons. So for example, electrons. Still, pwede pa rin siyang ma-attract dito. It's because the neutral has also protons. So, yung protons is pwede niyang ma-attract yung ibang electrons. Tama? So, yung protons dito, sa part na to, yung puro sa part na to, and then yung electrons na nandito, pwede silang ma-attract dito hanggang mapuno 
yung part na nandito. And if that happens, kapag nasobrahan ng electron sa neutral, magkakaroon na tayo ng static electricity. Di ba? Sabi kanina, ang, ang static electricity is imbalance of charges or electrical charges. So kapag sa neutral, nakapasok pa ang ibang electrons, ibig sabihin, imbalance na yung electrons dito. Mas marami ng electrons. Tama? So makakaroon na tayo ng static electricity. That is how we, uh, tawag dito, kung paano nag-evolve yung static electricity. Okay? Did you understand that one? Okay, good. Okay, so we have two words here. Conductors and insulators. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng conductors? From the word conduct. Okay? Conductors and insulators. Ang conductors ba ito ba yung nagbibigay? Insulator ba ito katanggap? Okay? Or the other way around. Conductor ba is nagatanggap? Mm-hmm. From the word conductor, so yung nagbibigay ng conduct. Tama? So, nagbibigay. So that means, so yung tagabigay, si insulator naman yung taga-receive. Okay? Conductors, tagabigay, insulator, taga-receive. Just like this one. This conductor gives positive electrical charges, which are protons, to this insulator. Okay, so this insulator will receive those three protons. At ano mayayari kapag nasobrahan, yung balance, nagkakaroon so ng static electricity. Okay, again, conductors, nagkabigay, insulators, nagkatangka. Okay, hindi sila pwede magpalit. Hindi pwede magbibigay si insulators kay conductor, hindi pwede. Okay? Okay. <laughs> so again, the conductors, the gabigay, insulators, the gatanggap, but from the word insulator, merong term na hindi siya ready. Okay? It's not readily uh, parang nagigain ng mga bagay-bagay. So, makakaroon siya ng static electricity. Tama? Okay, good. Uh, so, this is just uh, tawag dito, review sa inyong science of so grade 9, I think, sa chemistry. Okay? So, we have the structure of the atom. Again, atom, ito yung pinakamaliit na tawag dito, na bagay na makikita sa atin or sa lahat ng bagay. All things has, you know, what we call atoms. Ha? So, ito pinakamaliit na particle sa buong kalawakan. Okay? So, atoms are made up of three subatomic particles, namely electrons, protons, and the neutrons. Ano ulit ang electrons? Electrons are the negatively charged. Ang protons, these are the positively charged. Ano naman ang neutrons? These are neutral. So, zero. Okay? From the word neutral, which means zero. So, we have negative electrons, positive protons, and zero neutrons. So, this is an example of an atom. Okay? So, palagi nagsasama sa loob. This will be the nucleus, okay? The nucleus na yan is only uh, includes the protons and the neutrons, okay? So, ang um, nucleus ng isang atom is only, uh, tawag dito, it only contains the positively charged and the zero charge. So, protons and neutrons. And yung electrons is always umiikot lang siya sa orbit. Ito yung orbit ng 
orbit ng bawat atoms. Okay? So, so again, iba-iba ang iba-iba ang bilang ng atoms sa ating katawan, iba-iba ang at sa, sa ibang bagay. So, iba-iba rin ang bilang ng orbit. So, yung orbit na yan, doon lang umiikot yung mga electrons. Okay? Kung meron mga attraction, merong um, tawag dito, transformation or transferred particles, doon lang siya dadaan sa orbit na yan. Okay? Doon lang siya pupunta. Doon lang siya iikot. Okay? This, this is just a uh, you know review of your chemistry class. Again, so we have the smallest particle that can be you know find in our body or for anything is what we call atom. Atom has three subatomic particles. We have the electrons that is the negative, protons that is the positive, and the neutrons are the zero. Again, and inside the nucleus of an atom, we only uh, we can only see the protons and the neutrons. And sa orbit, sa bawat orbit ng ating atom, andun lang yung mga electrons. Doon lang sila gumagala. O gumagala, gumagalaw. Okay? Okay, so we, we have here the methods of charging. Ano ba charging? Of course, nag... Ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng charging? Pag mag-charge ka ng phone mo, ano, ano mangyayari? Mag-i-increase. As kapag charging, it's the trans, uh, trans, uh, transformation or trans, what's that word? Parang exchanging of charge. Diba? So, these are the methods of charging. Paano nga ba nag-transfer yung isa sa bawat or isang charge papunta sa isang bagay at papunta sa isang bagay. Okay. So the first one is net charge. Pag sinabi net charge, this is only the sum of the number of electrons and protons. So for example, I will ask uh, for atao dito. Can you give me the net charge of carbon and gold, for example? So you need to find sa inyong periodic table of elements kung ilan yung protons at ilan yung electrons ng bawat element. And you will just add that one to that another element. Okay? Or for example, what is the net charge of net charge of silver? So kung silver lang hahanapin niyo and then you will just find how many electrons and how many protons you will just add. Okay, that will be the net charge. Next one, the number two, charging by friction. Ayan na. Ano ba yung friction na yan? Sorry na mga friction na naman. Ano yung mga nahihirapan sa kwan. Okay, easy lang. Ang friction, rubbing. Mahirap ba? Rubbing. Of course, sa panagrarab ka, hindi naman para sa direction. Tama. So, kung magrarab ka, yung isang bagay ay eh, sapunta sa or maybe going down and then yung isang bagay is going up. So, maganyan siya. Okay? That is rubbing or friction. So, we have the charging by friction. Electrons are transferred when objects are rubbed against one another. Okay? So, kapag friction, nagrarab lang tayo or kinikiskis mo lang na ganyan. Okay? So, ang natatransfer is always electrons. Why ang electrons ang palaging natatransfer? Kasi siya lang yung nasa orbit. Tama? Kasi hindi mo pwedeng galawin yung nasa nucleus. Magagalaw lang siya if meron yung balance. Alright? Ayan. So, ang gagalaw mismo ang, or ang matatransfer palagi ay electrons. So, ang nag- Kapag nakakaroon ng imbalance sa isang bagay, that means sobra siya ng electrons. Okay? Yun yung pinaka-application nun. Okay? So we have the charging by friction. We have here three examples. The first one is this one. So we have a plastic pipe or plastic rod, I should say. Plastic rods. So parang gata lang siya. Okay, this is a plastic rod. 
Ayan. So kapag ito, kinis-case ko lang siya sa far or alam niyo yung uh, cloth na parang uh, tawag dito, yung sa pusa, parang gano'n. Diba yung may mga uh, kung tayo may mga higaan tayo or mat na gano'n yung texture. Tama? Yung parang balahibo yun. That's the word. Balahibo ng pusa or balahibo ng aso or something. Yung malambot as in malambot siya. So, try to rub this plastic rod doon sa telang yun okay, or bagay na yun. Okay? So, you rub those. You need two. So, for example, I have here so for example, I have here two um, plastic rods. Then I will rub this one doon sa kind of tin na yon na far. Right? Parang balahibo ng pusa, balahibo ng aso. Ganun, ganun yung texture ng surface niya. So i-rub mo ganyan. I-rub mo siya. And then, we will, you will find out that yung dalawang plastic rod niya is magre-repel. They will not attract each other. So, kapag dinanon mo silang dalawa, hindi mo sila mapag, map, mapagdidikit. Diba? Pinagtagpo pa rin din yung tinadhan. Ay, tama ba? Tagpo, attract pala yun. So, yung mali, 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 mali. Okay? Kunta lang, mahal mo pa rin di ka mahal. Parang ganun. Okay? So, ganyan. After rubbing these two plastic rods sa isang, you know, fur na thing, is magre-repel sila. Okay? They will repel each other. Repel. Tandaan nyo ha? Repel. Hindi sila magmimit. Repel each other. Experiment number two. Experiment number two natin is we have glasses. So for example, uh, this one naman ay glass. Okay? mga glass rods naman to. For example, imagine nyo na lang, okay? And we have the thing here that is silk. Ano naman yung silk? Yung tela na shiny. I think this one, yung damit ko, this one is silk. Yung shiny na tela. Okay? This one is silk. So if I will rub this one here, yung dalawang glass na yan, okay, yung glass rods na yan, if I will rub this one, and then if I will try to connect them, magre-repel din sila. So hindi rin sila magdidikit. Ibig sabihin, kukontrahan lang silang dalawang ganyan. Ibig sabihin, it's either this one is negative, this one is also negative. This one is positive, this one is also positive. So hindi sila pwedeng mag-meet. Okay? So, you try this at home later so para mas maghindahan nyo siya. And then for the third one, Okay? The glass rod and the plastic rod attracts each other. Kapag kunyari, yung plastic rod na to is ikis-kis mo doon sa far or doon sa tel na balambot na parang balahibo. And then yung glass naman, yung glass, i-rub mo naman doon sa silk pura dito. And then, they will attract. So magdidikit sila parang magnet. Okay? magdidikit sila parang magnet parang north and south ng magnet so this one is positive this one is negative or the other way around okay so magdidikit silang dalawa and also yung glass okay at yung silk magdidikit din sila yung plastic naman and then yung four magdidikit din sila okay so that is a uh, some experiments about the charging by friction. Again, ang friction is rubbing. Okay? Ilarab mo lang yung mga bagay-bagay. Kapag nag-repel sila, ibig sabihin hindi sila attracted to each other. Attract sila, or nag-meet sila, hindi are attracted to each other. Okay? You can try this uh, three experiments later para mas ma-indindahan yung sanasabi ko. Okay? Then we have the last one. Before the, the last one, let's first answer this one. What type of charge is transferred from one material to another during charging by friction? What type of charge? Ilan yung charges natin? We have three charges. Or two charges, two charges lang. The positive and the negative. 
correct? Ano yung positive? Protons. Ano yung negative? Electrons. Okay, so what type of charge? Is it the positive or negative? Is transferred from one material to another during the charging by friction. Mm -hmm. ko na sa inyo kanina. <laughs> okay, so ang palaging nagko, uh, nagiging uh, tawag dito, nagbibigay, palaging nag uh, transfer na charges yung electrons. Okay, so negative palagi. Okay, negative palagi ang nagta-transfer from one material to another during rubbing or during friction. Okay. Between two objects which are being rubbed, how can you determine which will become negatively charged and which will become positively charged? O, ba naman, no? For example, yung far at yung plastic rod. Okay. Pag nirub mo sila, magre sila, tama? Pero the question is, how can you determine which will become negatively charged and which will become positively charged? Ano ba nalaman? Ha? You need to use the net charge. Di ba yung net charge kanina? We will add only the protons and the neutron or the electrons. Diba? So manalaman mo doon kapag sumobra or kapag ito alam mo yung kanyang number of net charge and number of net charge. So malalaman mo kung ano yung na-transfer sa kabila using yung net charge na yun. Okay, for example, yung net charge nung thing, yung bagay na to is 5. So maroon tayo kunyari R6. 3 electrons, 3 protons. Yung net charge naman ng isang bagay na to is 8. 4 electrons for protons. Pinagrab ko sila. Okay? I rub them and then the transfer dito is dalawang electrons. So magiging 5 electrons and 3 protons. So dito nabawasan ang dalawa. So malalaman mo kung ano, kung uh, sino ang magiging negative recharge at magiging positive recharge. Kapag sumabra yung number of negative recharge dito, ibig sabihin, ito yung negative recharge now, ito na yung magiging positive recharge. Okay? Okay? So this one is another experiment. So we have the silk cloth and the glass rod. Ayan. So suppose you have a silk cloth against a glass rod. So this will be the glass. This was I kanina, the glass. So we have four protons and then five electrons. And then our silk has four protons and four electrons. Kundanian, ha? Okay, so I will, we will rub a silk cloth and a glass rod. Four plus five minus for glass rod, four plus and four minus for silk. We will rub them. Which became possibly charged or negatively charged? Tandaan ninyo, ano yung palaging, uh, ano yung palaging transfer? Ano yung plan to transfer? Electrons. Tama. So negative. Since dito is may imbalance. Imbalance siya. Okay. So ang magbibigay is one. So pupunta yung isang negative dito para mabalance yung glass rod. Okay. So mabibigay, mabibigyan siya ng isang negative. So ang magiging negative dito, dito one, this one, this will become positive now. And this will become negative. So the positively charged now will be the glass rod and then the negatively charged will be the silk cloth. Okay? So kaya kapag pinag, uh, pinagdikit mo sila, they will attract each other. Ibig sabihin, pwede mo i-share yung electron sa kanya. So nag-attract tayo. Kapag hindi pwede i-share sa kabila yung electron, magre-repel. Or no attraction at all. Okay? So these are some lists on how you can identify 
okay, kung saan siya pupunta. Okay. So the chemical property of an atom to attract electrons itself is called electron affinity. Yeah. Again, attract electrons. Ano yung mga nag attract ng electrons? We have for positively charged, this, and for negatively charged, this. Okay? If you want to have this copy, i-screenshot nyo na lang na ganyan. So the triboelectric series ranks materials based on their tendency to acquire charge or to acquire electric ele electrons charge. Okay. Again, so we have the three methods of charging. <coughs> oh, two I should say. Excuse me. The net charge and the uh, charging using friction. And the last one we have, charging by conduction. Conduct. Ano yung conduct kanina pag bibigay? Tama? So conduct. Also known as charging by contact. Okay. So, bibigay. A charged object is touched to... Excuse me, nakot ako. Okay, so a charged object is touched to a conductor. So, for example, we have the neutral sphere. Neutral, that means balance. Okay? Balance. So neutral sphere, balance. And if electron comes, so upon contact, electrons are transferred from the negatively charged rod to the neutral sphere. Okay? So, yung mga electrons niya, na transfer na dito. And then, when the negatively charged rod is separated, both objects obtain a negative charge. Of course, if they will combine. If this one has negatively charged particles, ito wala, or balance, okay, meron positive charge negative, na transfer yung negative, but of course, maging negatively charged na rin to. Okay? So they have both obtain a negative charge. When negatively charged rod is placed under the neutral sphere, separation of charge takes place. Para mangyayari yun. Pag meron lang tayong, um, kumbaga, a blank or a zero, a zero space, okay? And if this space is a certain mo ng positive at negative, just like this one, So, pwedeng attract, pwedeng i-attract ni rod na to, yung mga negatives na nandito. Pwede niyang kunin lahat dyan. Okay, that, is what, that is what will happen if we have a negatively charged thing placed under the neutral sphere. Okay, separation of charges takes place. Okay? So, magiging imbalance na siya ng mga particles sa loob. And it is charging by conduction. Pagbibigayan. Okay? Pagbibigay. Again, ang binibigay lang palagi ay electrons or negatively charged. Okay? Hindi pwede magbigay ng positive. Kasi yung positive, nasa loob lang siya. Nasa nucleus lang siya. Kasama rin ni neutrons. Okay? <clears throat> yeah, so it, it's just explaining on how they can, uh, you know, assume that the neutral sphere is a good conductor. So, hindi siya parang insulator na maarte. Ito yung parang uh, good conductor meaning pwede, niya, pwede siyang makareceive na kahit ano. Okay, that's a good conductor. Charge separation occurs when a negatively charged rod placed near the sphere near the sphere, okay? Occurs negatively charge, place near the sphere, kalo siya ng charge separation. Yan, okay? This one, charge separation. <clears throat> and then, 
Upon contact, some electrons move from the rod to the sphere. Tama? So kapag nilapit mo lang, nilapit mo lang yung negatively charged na rod na yan doon sa neutral sphere, okay, magkakaroon ng separation of charges. Separation. Kung baga magugulo yung magugulo lang yung dalawa. Kasi magparang mag magmi-mix-mix yung kanilang mga charges. Okay? And kapag didikit mo na mismo yung, elek yung electrons or yung bagay na yun, yung rod na yun na merong negative charges sa isang neutral sphere, transfer naman niya na yung mga negatives. Okay? So upon contact, some electrons move from the rod to the sphere. Upon separation, both the rod and the sphere obtains a negative charge. Okay? Now, can you explain charging by conduction when a positively charged rod is used instead? Huh? I will take a picture of this one. Huh? I'll take a photo of this one and then I will put this one in your Keeper account and try to answer this question. Because huh? if negative yan, kung negative electron yan, is magdidikit sila. They will, they will mix. Paano naman kapag positively charged rod is used? Okay. And then the last one we have, this is the fourth one. Fourth one, okay? Charging by induction. Charging by induction. Ano yung induction kanina? Conduct, induct. Conduct, induct. Conduct, magbibigay. Induct, magre-receive. Okay. So, induction naman is a metal ball. This one is an experiment. So, we have a metal ball and the insulating stand. Insulating. It means an insulator. Yung hindi na ready na makareceive. So, we have a charged metal ball. And then, for the next one, negative charge on rod repels electrons, creating zones of negative and positive induced charge. So, yung metal na to, it includes electrons and protons. So, if we will... Uh, tawag dito, pag magdidikit tayo ng isang negatively charged rod, ano mangyayari doon sa ating metal ball? Okay, negative, negative charge on the rod repels electrons. Repels. Ano repels? Magkihiwalay. Okay, creating zones of negative and positive induced charge. So, kung baga, mamimix yung, mamimix yung, uh, mamimix yung negatively charge doon sa metal ball na yan, and then makakaroon na, makakaroon na tayo ng static electricity. Okay, did you remember yung sa kaninang bata na hinawakan yung isang metal ball na nakalabot yung pangalan, yung metal ball na yan, and then nag-repel yung mga Hair niya. Tama. So that is one effect of that one. Wire lets electron build or build up induce negative charge flow into ground. Ayan. So kapag meron kong dinikit na wire, so lahat naman ng negative na electrons mapupunta doon sa wire. Kasi di ba, sabi ko sa inyo, pag nagdikit yung dalawang bagay, ang pwede lang mag-transfer ay electrons. So lahat ng electrons na nasa metal ball na yun, mapupunta doon sa wire. Ano naman yung hero doon sa floor? It, okay, magkakaroon na ng spark yung floor. Understand that one? Kapag sobra ka ng protons, okay, sobra ka ng protons, or maybe meron, uh, kunwari, aapak ka sa ganyan, tapos medyo sobra ka ng protons, yung protons mo, or elect electrons mo, i-attract na yung mga electrons na nasa floor at magkakaroon ng static electricity or magkakaroon na ng ground or spark. So, magka-ground ka, makurinti ka konti. Diba? That's that will be the effect. Ayan. Wire removed, a ball now has only an electron deficient region of positive charge. Diba? Kasi, okay, tapag talagal mo naman na yung wire, maiiwan yung mga electrons na sa loob na nasa floor. 
at maritira sa metal ball mo yung positive recharge. Rod removed, electrons rearrange themselves, a ball has overall an electron deficiency that is net positive charge. So kapag sinabi deficiency, hindi siya normal. So may imbalance na yan. So kung wala kang electrons, kapag dinikit mo yung kamay mo doon sa uh, metal ball na yan, na nandito, tas, siyempre, lahat tayo may electrons and protons. So kapag dinikit mo yan, yung electrons mo is ma-attract ng positive charge na nandito and then makakaroon ng static electricity. Okay? So doon na doon pa rin pupunta yung mga um, imbalances of electrical charges natin. Mapupunta pa rin siya sa static electricity. Okay? Okay. And then we have the law of conservation of charge. It states that the algebraic sum of all the electric charges in any closed system is constant. constant, hindi pwedeng mabago. So kahit gaano pakaraming charges yan. Okay? And uh, if we will use the law of conservation of charge, all the sum of those charges are constant or close, uh, in any closed system is constant or parang parehas lang sila. Hindi sila pwedeng lumagpas, hindi sila pwedeng alumiit or not limit, umikli, kumbaga. Okay? That is the law of conservation of charge. Now, how many positive and negative charges are there? Okay, so net charge tayo, mag net charge tayo. So how many positive and negative charges are there? Doon mo na sa glass rod, meron tayong four positive and five negative. For here, mara tayong 4 positive and then 4 negative. So how many positive and negative charges are there? We have 8 positive charges and 9 negative charges. Okay? So yun yung law of conservation. So parang kapag pinag-add-add mo yung lahat-lahat na yan, this is still constant. Hindi siya mapabago. Okay? Hindi siya pwede sobra, hindi siya pwede mag this will be your activity, first activity for today. So I will take a screenshot for this one. And okay. So this will be your first one, the true or false. And then for this one, it is the sum of everything. There are two types of charges. We have positive and negative. Changes in charges are brought by the movement of negatively charged particles only. Okay, so yung electrons lang pwede mag-transfer. Okay, forces between charges can be either repulsive or attractive. Like charges attract and unlike charges repel. Ah. There are two methods of charging an object, charging by friction and charging by induction. Charging by friction can happen when you rub two objects with unequal electron electronegativity. Okay, for example, yung isa meron siyang five electrons, yung isa may amat na electrons, so pwede mo siya nag-erub. Okay, and the object with higher electronegativity will be negatively charged. Kung kasaan na yung mas maraming electrons, yun ay maging negatively charged. Okay? And the other object with lower electronegativity will be positively charged. Ha? So kung nag-transfer kanina yung glass doon sa silk, yung silk na yung negative, yung glass na yung positive. Kasi mas marami na um, electrons yung ating silk kanina. Tama? Yung nag-transfer ako ng isang electron. Charging by induction can happen due to induced charges. The charges in the Conducting object can be rearranged with the presence of an external charge object. Pero makanina yung meron ka ng isang neutral na sphere or neutral na metal ball and then maglalagay ka ng negatively charged particles coming from a rod and then it will have a separation of charges doon sa loob ng metal ball. 
Okay? So, magkaroon na na ng static electricity. And then, if you will put a wire to a metal ball connecting the one to the floor, lahat ng negatively charged mapupunta sa wire at mapupunta sa floor. And then, magkaroon na ng imbalance doon sa loob, only, pl only plus lang. So, it's still, it's still mayroon tayo yung static electricity na mangyayari kapag yung isang tao, hinawakan yon. That's because the electrons coming from the, that person will attract by yung positive na nasa metal. Okay? Number two activity, we have this, charge to cell. Okay? So I will, again, take a photo or take a screenshot yeah, para masend ko sa inyong keeper. So that will be our that will be our lesson for today. Okay, stop sharing ko muna. Okay, so that will be our lesson for today. And if you have some questions, okay, pwede nyo akong i-chat tomorrow. Ang oras natin is one, I think. Okay, so see you again next Saturday. Bye.